welcome back to Rich Pack Creations. Before I continue, I'm just going to take off these because my eye vision is currently like Errol's. We're really sorry we haven't been posting any videos lately because we've been really busy. We were over in England signing the papers for our apartment, so now we're pretty much ready for our move in September. The giveaways that everyone is asking about in the comment sections, yes, we will have some giveaways eventually, but not until the September area around there. We have some social media if you guys want to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, etc. If you want to keep up with a little bit more of the behind the scenes and what we do in our daily life, etc. We're considering making some vlogs slash behind the scenes videos here on YouTube as well. So if that is of any interest, just leave a comment down below and say what you think. So moving all the blabbering along, today we're going to make Harry Potter's wand. And we're going to make it out of a barbecue skewer and polymer clay like usually as always so let's get started starting off harry potter's one i cut a piece of a barbecue skewer to 34 centimeters the total length of the one is 34.6 so it's a little bit shorter since the clay is going to be on the tips in the end so i rolled out a piece and now i'm just going to add that to the entire one and just evenly distribute it and just roll it all out So after I added the thin layer of clay on the wand, I just placed it in the oven for 30 minutes just to stiffen up. Now I'm going to add the second layer, which is roughly beginning at the half point of the wand. And there I'm going to add approximately half of that again as a thin layer. I'm just going to smooth that on and add it on. And then I'm just going to make a little bit of wood texture to it, not too much. And then I'm going to bake it and then I'm going to begin adding the real details in the bottom right here. As you can see right now, I'm just blending the new part in with the old one. And you don't want to blend it completely, just a little bit so you get a smooth transition. And you just want to add a little bit of that wood texture and unevenness. It's a little bit higher here and a little bit lower. So as you can see, it's not completely symmetrical all the way around. For this layer, I'm not going to do much, but I'm going to add a little bit of wooden texture by just dragging my blade to create some flat surfaces that looks more like wood than just a rolled up piece of clay. And that's pretty much it for this layer. I'm just going to tweak it around and just work a little bit with it before I'm going to put it back into the oven for another 30 minutes. So we're on to the final part, which is the thick end of the wand. And this wand is a really simple one. It's really quick to do. So first of all, I'm just adding another layer that's a little bit thicker than this one. I'm just going to add it all the way around. Then I'm going to start making it into a twig with some rough ends on each side. So you just want to add a little bit more clay to the tip and to the area that is the cross section between the one we made previously. Then you want to use something to just take off the excess clay in the middle because you want it to be tapered down from the ends down into the center of this area so it goes like a slope. So once you tapered it down you just want to add some scraggly bits here and there to the end and to this part right here. And that's just to begin the really rough wood texture that looks like a tree root. And once you add it on some pieces and you're happy with how it looks, I'm just going to use a lot of tools and just start blending everything in and add a lot of texture.
As you can see, the wand is now finished and I just continued the same texture I did here at the top using a sharp line, dragging wood lines in between, using some bowl tools, some sponges and some toothbrush to get the texture that I wanted. So that's pretty much it. So it's a pretty simple technique to achieve the look that I was going for. So starting off the paint job, I'm just going to add a base coat of some warm brown color to this area and the tip of the wand. This is a warmer area than the end. It's a little bit more greenish and cold looking at the top. So that's just what I'm going to do right now, just adding that color all over. So using the same brown that I just covered the entire one with, I'm now just going to mix it in with a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow and white. That was way too much yellow. But uh, I'm going to mix it out and start highlighting this area here and the end the tip of the wand as well. So it's going to be a little bit more yellow at the tip, a little bit more red here, but really subtle, almost identical colors, just a little bit different. I'm finished with the highlights on this area and the tip at the end. Now I'm just gonna go over with some black and a tiny bit of green, just a little smidge of green mixed into my brown. And then I'm just gonna cover this area right here with that color. Before I'm just gonna add some extra details, highlights, low lights, etc. in the same tones like this color right here. I finished with the brown green mixed base color for this area. Now I'm just going to go over with some black wash into the crevices. I'm just going to add a little bit of depth. Then I'm going to continue on with the highlights in the same shades. So as you just saw, I just added some highlights on the rest of the paint job. I just mixed in a little bit of yellow and white into the mix I already had. And I just added that to all the top points of the end area right here. And that is pretty much it for the one It is now finished. So this is the finished project for today, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like down below. Thank you so much for watching.